This is where I live, the edge of the Atlantic Ocean in beautiful West Torque, Ireland. There is a huge problem at these beaches. It's big plastic particles being washed up. However, there is a much, much bigger problem facing um, us here in Ireland, and that is microplastics, tiny plastic particles less than two millimeters in diameter. My project is an investigation as to how we can remove these plastic particles from their source, wastewater, before it even enters the sea. So I read about the work of a scientist called Dr. Arden Warner. He uses magnetite powder to clean up oil spills, and that is because the oil and the magnetite powder are both nonpolar. I thought, well, maybe I could apply this idea um, to plastics in water and use oil and magnetite mixed together as a ferrofluid to extract um, the plastics. I did a small test and this was indeed the case. I then designed an extraction process uh, to remove plastics from water and I chose 10 different types of plastics to do my testing on. I conducted over 1000 tests on the plastics um, in over 200 extraction. So to measure the concentration of plastic particles in a suspension, I used my home built visible light spectrometer and I could use the software Spectrogriff to calculate the concentration of unknown samples using the Beer-Lambert law. As an auxiliary method, I also used a digital microscope and I could use Adobe Photoshop to select all the pixels covered in plastic. After all of this extensive testing, I came up with loads and loads of results. At the beginning of my project, I hypothesized that I would have an 85% decrease in plastics. And this hypothesis was indeed met um, using a hypothesis test. Here we can see a graph showing all of my results. Um, these are the plastic types down here and up here the plastic percentage decrease. I also conducted a t-test to verify if there was a statistically significant difference between using oil and not using oil. I found that it was not statistically significant. I conclude from all of this that this would be an effective method for removing microplastics from water. And now I'm looking at how this could be scaled up from a test tube size to a larger quantity of water and eventually used in industry.